Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to find out if your email address has been compromised. Uh, what does that mean? Well, we're gonna talk about that today, but before we do that, please always remember to subscribe, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date with my videos. So let's talk about that right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in IT and I absolutely love it. And today we're looking at whether your email has been compromised. So you've got an email. You may have multiple email addresses that you use to access multiple websites out on the internet. Accessing Facebook, accessing, you know, whatever it may be. You log into a, a Dropbox account, into PayPal, into all these different services. These websites communicate with a backend database, so a database containing a lot of information and data about your account, perhaps your profile information, things like that, including your email. And from time to time, websites get compromised. Essentially, a website gets hacked. Somebody gets into the website, potentially accesses the data that's on that website or the database and steals that information. So there are ways to find out whether your email address was compromised, whether your email address was part of this particular data breach that happened on a website and whether some unknown person, a hacker out on the internet or a group of hackers out there know what your email could potentially be and potentially know what your password was for that particular website. There is a great tool out there that I use consistently. I actually log into this almost on a weekly basis just to make sure that everything is okay. So let's just log into my computer right here and we'll show you whether your email address has been compromised as part of a data breach. All right, so here we are on our computer. Uh, this is a Mac. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Mac, a Windows, or a Linux box. The process is really exactly the same but I've just opened up myself a browser uh, window. I'm using Chrome. Uh, and really all we do is we've, we're gonna visit a website. Um, this is a website that uh, is really in the market of um, scanning other websites to identify where there's been data breaches and similar events such as that. The website is called Have I Been Pwned? So what we're gonna do is in Google, we're gonna type in Have I Been, there we go, it's already shown up. Have I Been Pwned right here, P W-N-E-D. So this is to check if your email has been breached, okay? Now right in here, we're gonna open it up and you can see right here, it says check if you have an account that has been compromised in a data breach. And from here, you can see a little bit of history about what this website has done. Uh, you'll see that uh, the latest breaches, it's got how many collections of uh, you know accounts it's found, recently added breaches. So it's kept up to date as new breaches have happened. And as you can see, this is really recent breaches, which are happening quite consistently. And right here was 25 million accounts from this particular Mathway um, service. So it is quite scary. And then really all you do from within here is put in your email address. It'll then scan its own databases and see whether your email comes up in any of those breaches. So I'm just putting in an email in here, mytestemail at gmail.com. I'm gonna click on this button right here. And right there, you can see straight away, it has been discovered. It's been pwned on seven breach sites and found one paste. And if you scroll down, it gives you exactly an overview of where that email was breached from, okay? So these will all be services that you have used that account on. So right here, you can see the collection of where it's found it, including in LinkedIn, uh, Mathway, which we saw just previously, and a few others. Um, you can read a little bit more information about this, and it really shows you exactly what was breached. So right here, compromised data, this is LinkedIn, uh, was email addresses and passwords were compromised. Uh, 160 million email addresses and passwords were exposed, originally hacked in 2012. So. Here's a very good indication that if you had a LinkedIn account um, around this time in 2012, uh, then go and change your password straight away because uh, that password potentially is out there somewhere. That, you, that email address and password has been found somewhere. Um, it's definitely a very, very good service. You can test this with a number of different email addresses that you may have. So another one could be just Gmail or Gmail. Again, these are just test emails that I'm just using. Uh, look at that. 
Now this is of course a completely fake email address I would assume, but it's found 196 breach sites, right? Where, where people have probably registered with this email address. Um, it gives you a bit of an overview, a lot more, but it is actually quite scary. Share this, you know, if you've got friends and family, uh, make them aware of what this website does. It's actually really, really helpful and has really helped me out a lot. So hopefully that has given you a bit of information. It's definitely scary when you do find these results and you do identify that uh, your email address has been at least taken or breached uh, from a website that you thought you trusted and you thought was a uh, reliable source. The recommendation always is going and resetting your passwords on these websites, making sure that they're complex, making sure that they're secure. But that's it for now. I would love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts. Please, as always, remember to subscribe to Digital by Computing, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date as I release new videos. Like this video. We'll see you next time. All the best.